Hey, this is Warren Redlick on our way back to Florida. Or actually, we're in Florida now. I'm here with uh, Rafael Teslatino and Teslatina. We are making our way back to South Florida from our trip to Texas. Having a great time. It's a long ride, but we're almost there. Um, it's been fun. We're having a lot of fun. Only one person watching. Did I do something wrong? This is strange. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Who's here? Am I in the wrong channel or something? Hi, Dan. Hello, Jeffrey. So, I'm pretty excited about getting back home. Hey, Kairav. Okay, we're on the right channel. I was just worried that somehow I must have chosen the wrong channel. Um, on our way back, we've been riding. I, I found out that I can sleep in the back seat of a Tesla Model 3 while it's moving at 70 plus miles an hour on not great roads. Things to learn. I slept on somebody's couch. So apparently the plan of getting a Model X Plaid and sleeping in the back probably won't be nearly as bad as sleeping on an awkward couch or sleeping on the back of a Model 3. So that may move forward. Tesla Tina here. Tesla Tina here. Ah, I'm getting it wrong. Tesla Tina there. She's gone. So, uh, I'm trying to think if I have any big lessons. I'm really, I got a lot of energy out of this trip. Uh, a lot of ideas. If you are a YouTube channel member, I think at the exclusive content level or above, if you are a Patreon supporter, if you are on, on the Locals platform, I did a post this morning talking about a bunch of my big ideas. Well, maybe they're small ideas, maybe they're big ideas, but ideas for videos that I want to make in the future. Pretty excited. If I, One of the big ones that relates to um, what happened this week is I want to do an update on what I think is coming with what is already happening and what is coming with Tesla Model Y from uh, from Austin. Hey, Ch hey Chadwick. Um, I think there's a lot happening. I think that there's so much going on. I think we know a bit more about Cybertruck now, so we definitely need to do a Cybertruck update video got some ideas about RVs. Oh, it's much less windy. Hey, Justin. Justin's in the chat. Justin was with us on the ride to to uh, Starbase, was at, at Starbase with us. If you check out my Instagram or my Twitter, you'll see some photos, maybe some videos from the trip so far. I never really looked up from the back seat of a Model 3 before. Yeah, I guess I'm feeling the wind now. I never really looked up at the back from the back seat of Model 3 before, and this uh, it was kind of cool watching the clouds moving around as you're driving through. I think I put a, a video of that on Twitter, maybe. Um, having a good time. So I want to talk about 40, the Model Y. There's no change in the order page for Tesla yet. Somebody detected some change in the software that indicates they're getting ready to update with this Tesla Model Y all-wheel drive that was disclosed in an EPA filing. I keep watching the EPA website. The detour was worth it. Um, I don't know. I'm having a good time. I'm going, in all, I'm going all in on this midlife crisis and I think it's going okay. And I'm, I'm ready to be home. It looks like we're gonna get home after midnight. Uh, I think we're gonna get home after midnight. One of my big ideas, I think I've decided, did I talk about this in the last live stream? I think I'm doing a, a new channel. This would be low volume, like once a week or less at first. I want to do a channel on dating. I call it green, I'm, right now I'm calling it green pill dating. Green pill dating because it's the antidote to the red pill and maybe to the black pill or, I'm not exactly sure what pills there are in these uh, dating videos out there, but there's a lot of uh, negative ideas in the dating world, hookup culture and uh, misogyny and a lot of other stuff that I find troublesome and I was thinking about making videos about that I've, I've got at least seven videos in the pipeline now for about Tesla maybe boring company but mostly Tesla videos I want to do a video on napkin math I did some napkin math some construct I don't know if you guys can hear the construction over there it's really loud to me go oh, this way maybe to be a little better I'm going to briefly dash into the sun. I've been standing in the shade. Um, so I, I got this idea for a video I'm going to call napkin math or Tesla napkin math, where I just try, really try to nail out my hyperbole view of Tesla 
for 2020, 2030 or beyond. Napkin dating, napkin math for dating. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of ideas. I'm not sure I can think of them all right now. Very, very excited. Very, you know, very, very upbeat. Where are we now? We're in Tallahassee. We're at the Supercharger in Tallahassee. I think it's really north, northeast of Tallahassee a little bit, but it's called the Tallahassee Supercharger. We're gonna be here for about 30 minutes and I've been going for five and a half, so when will Tesla hit $200,000 a share? I think Tesla hits $200,000 a share after 2030, unless bot happens quicker than I think. Your wife thinks I'm going through manopause. Is that another word for midlife crisis or is another meaning to that? Maybe 2070, no, no, it's 20, well, it depends on inflation. If inflation keeps going the way it's going, it'll be the next year. Do I think hypergamy isn't real? I think hypergamy applies to some women, but not all women. I think this is one of the problems. I think it is true that some women are hypergamous, but not all women. And I don't think men should, I think men, I think that there's a problem with the hookup culture and the outlook of the red pill that men shouldn't get married and men shouldn't have kids that, that might be bad for the future of humanity. If men don't want to get married and have kids and women don't want to get married and have kids, then we don't have kids and the species dies. We go extinct. And I, I'm not a fan of extinction for the human, for human species. I know there's a lot of people who think we suck, especially when we're driving. You know, FSD beta is probably a better driver than some humans. So maybe uh, a world of FSD beta drivers would be safe than a world of human drivers. But a world of, FS, of uh, artificial intelligence with no humans, I'm not gunning for that. I want to see humanity continue and grow and flourish. And we need more people for that. We need babies for that. We need people to care for babies. So hypergamy probably real but i think there are a lot of people who mate for life and drop hypergamy once they find the one i think we should be looking for the person that's right for us or, or darn close and that's what i think should happen the world will be full of optimists as well i think there's an interesting question about tesla bot which is let's suppose tesla bot succeeds what is the future ratio hey hey dan what is the future ratio of bots to humans and does it depend on context Will you do IVF to finally have a boy or are you willing to have more girls? I would absolutely have more girls. I probably have a very, very slight preference for boys, but I'm very, very happy with my daughters. So I really, all I ever wanted was happy, healthy babies and that's what I got. Happy and healthy is way more important than gender. Have you thought about putting a wrap on your car looking for, no, we just had an idea for a t-shirt. Um, ask me about my safety score. This is a t-shirt that is coming to elonbits.com. Ask me about my safety score. Who is Tina? Mo says, why not date Tina? I don't know who Tina is. My wife is jealous of my bromance with Elon and SpaceX. Absolutely, that's what caused my divorce. Met a woman at work two weeks later, I proposed four months later, married 44 years now. Great, Mark. So Mark, it doesn't seem like either you or your wife were hypergamous. I, I think that's one of the myths that I don't like in the red pill dating videos, the idea that all women are hypergamous. That's the misogyny. The misogyny is saying something about all women. Kairav, I'm taking the PSAT tomorrow. Hopefully I can do as well as your daughters. My daughters did not do as well on the PSAT as they did on the SAT. Um, take the PSAT, maybe you get to take it multiple times. Get some tutoring, get some individual tutoring and work on your math. Study math, study math, study math. If you can, read. Read, read, read. Read, sup read stuff that's interesting and deep. Slicer Mergonis, I don't know what that means. Will you ever make a Tesla Air coffee mug? I have a te TSLA coffee mug. Tesla Air wouldn't, I don't know if Tesla Air would fit on the mug. What do I think Elon will do with Twitter? Great question. So I do think it's somewhat likely that Elon is gonna take over Twitter. What will he do? Unless there's some news I haven't seen today that's already known. Um, I think that he, one will make it much more free speech. I think he will make it more engaging so that the, he mentioned on Twitter that some of the top accounts rarely tweet. Some of the accounts with the most followers rarely tweet. He wants to see if he can make Twitter more engaging so those people participate more in what's happening on Twitter. And that would create more engagement and keep on people on the platform more. Um, you know, there, there's something about the platform that takes the largest, uh, twi the largest celebrities and they don't use Twitter. How do you bring them back to Twitter? If you can grow the platform in that way, you grow the platform, and then can you monetize it better? Oh, I know he, I know he resigned from the board. Not that he resigned from the board of the sec directors. He decided not to join the board of directors. 
and my gut is that he chose not to join the board of directors because he didn't like the restriction on what stock limitation he would have. Um, Yahoovie, I'm just open about where I am and what I'm doing, and I don't care what people think. So, um, I think that he talked to the leadership of Twitter, talked about what his role would be, what he wanted to do. I think he got some feedback, and he didn't like, he didn't think he would be able to accomplish what he wanted to accomplish. He didn't think that they would change. I think he felt they weren't willing to change as much as they needed to. It's a lot of noise here. Are you guys picking up the sirens in the lawn machine? Or is that only, is it only something I can hear? Um, were there restrictions about only speaking positively about Twitter? I didn't see that. No, there's no gang shooting. There's just a siren. And then there's a guy, a guy doing yard work. He seems to be following me. A guy with like a, you know, big lawnmower. I'm trying to get to a spot where that's not bad. We hear it's not that bad. Okay, thank you. Alien Space gives me that crazy, crazy stalker vibe with Elon. Do you wish she would stalk you? Yes. Yes, I would. Well, she doesn't have to stalk me. She just has to call me. Um, Ellie and I spent some quality time together. We had lunch in Austin. Um, we're still good friends. Hashtag not my girlfriend. Why aren't I running? What am I running for? Where am I running to? I'm not sure where I'm running for or where I'm running to. So I think I got another 10 or 15 minutes before I got to run. Probably 10 minutes before. This video will probably be over in about 10 minutes. So. Where the heck were we? Well, somebody asked why I talk about my personal life. I, I don't need to be private. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't feel the need to hide what's going on. I feel like um, I share more with my Patreon and local supporters to some extent, or I talk about some things earlier, but I'm just who I am. Do I think China is a massive detriment? How long do you think it will last? I don't know what you mean by detriment. I think China is a boost to the world economy. I think they certainly, the Chinese government certainly has its issues. There's problems in the Chinese economy. Uh, Mo, why not date Ellie? Because Ellie said no. <laughs> I asked. Uh, I asked another woman at uh, gig, at the when I was in Austin, the last night in Austin, I asked another woman to, to, if I came back to Austin, would you have dinner with me? As friends, I, I got friends. I mean, I like her and I would like to be friends, but I want more. Will you be able to control Tesla bot via Neuralink? Probably not. Oh, chest, no, China, no, but I mean, if you mean Giga China, uh, Giga Shanghai, Giga Shanghai is doing fantastic. I don't see where the detriment is there. It's doing us, it's outstanding. What was the question about autopilot? Does your autopilot slow down at sharp turns on the highway? On the interstate highway? No. I mean, I, so keep in mind that Tesla is working on FSD beta and I think people have this issue with, um, when, when things happen on the interstate highway with autopilot, I don't think that's a reflection of FSD beta. How Elon might help Twitter with AGI. I, AGI is a long way off. I don't think uh, AI is a, a machine learning is a critical feature. I can see ways that machine learning could help Twitter. Um, in a few months new to your channel, did Tesla really play a part in your divorce? Um, I would say my wife and I grew apart and one of the issues was that I got more and more excited about Tesla, SpaceX, boring company, Neuralink, Elon Musk. I talked about it a lot. I wanted to do more related to that. Um, it inspired me to want to do other things and just, you know, it wasn't the same path that my wife wanted to be on. I mean, it's much more complicated than that, of course. And that's probably something I don't want to go in depth on, but uh, you know, that's sort of like big, big picture stuff, small picture stuff. We just weren't happy anymore. So we got along well. She's still my, I still consider her my best friend in the world. We still talk often, but uh, we still help each other. But uh, just weren't happy. What Tesla model do you have on order? What Tesla models do I have on order? I have a Model X Plaid on order that hopefully will be delivered in three months or so. It might be sooner. I'm hoping for three or four months. The, lot, the later, the better. Because I'm planning on moving out of my condo so I no longer have to pay rent and put the rent payment into the Model X Plaid. Um, and then I have two Cybertrucks on order, both dual motor. I am expecting that the first one, which I ordered in the first hour, I, that in some way I will have to hopefully have the opportunity to convert that to a quad motor. I think the first Cybertruck that will be available will be a quad motor. So hopefully I will be able to upgrade from dual motor to quad motor at substantial expense and drive a quad motor Cybertruck around. You sound so desperate or low. I don't know what you mean. What do I sound desperate about? 
Went Lambo, no Lambo, never a Lambo. Why not live near Austin, Giga, Texas? So my oldest daughter lives in New York City, um, goes to college in New York City, plans to stay in New York City. My youngest child will probably go to a university in Florida, and I don't want to be that far in, in a year or so, a year or two. I don't want to be that far for my children. Uh, it's very important to me. My, my children are very important to me, and I want to stay reasonably close to them. I might compromise for that. I, I do have thoughts about going to Austin, but I think I'm pretty confident that everything I want to do, I can do from, well, not everything I want to do. I can accomplish most of the things I want to do in life uh, living near Canaveral. A video about the horrendous lockdown policies in Shanghai on locals. Um, I'm So I'm not following the Shanghai lockdown in that much depth. I think it's a problem, but I don't think it's a long-term problem for Tesla. It's a short-term problem for Tesla and the Shanghai community. Um, I have visited Austin. I'm sure I will visit Austin again. Uh, I, I had an idea and a, a possibility of getting a job with one of Elon's companies in Austin, potentially. And I thought about pursuing that. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna pursue that. I fundamentally am more excited about the pod car. The red pill mentality might be excessive, but it's based on observable biological behaviors in men and women. I look forward to watching a green pill. Okay, it's based on real observable biological behaviors in some men and some women. It doesn't mean it applies to all men and all women. It doesn't mean you should aspire to it. Who surprised you most when you met them in person? Actually, at the Platt event, Tim Dodd from Everyday Astronaut surprised me the most. As in what a genuine, warm, and interesting person he was. He's not just a personality on the air, on video. Well, yeah, I kind of figure I, when I spoke with the person I was speaking with about potentially working for one of Elon's companies, I said, you know, I don't have a history of working well with others. And uh, the person responded that he didn't think that would be a problem. Okay. I think that Tesla, uh, Tesla, SpaceX, boring company, Neuralink, I think they attract a large number of strong-willed people. I did not get a chance to meet Elon, Mayor Kimball. Well, I, I met Franz von Holzhausen and Drew Baglino and Martin Vieca at the Plaid event. I didn't meet anybody from, well, I, I met one high-ranking official I don't want to name at the, in Austin. Haven't spoken to my wife since divorce seven, 19 years ago. Oh, yeah. I, I, what was that? When will I visit Berlin? I don't have any plans to travel outside the U.S. I have a vague idea of traveling to Japan at some point. I don't think it's a question of being too smart. It's a question of where can I make the most difference? And I think if I joined this particular company, I would make a difference. But I think there's potential for me to make a much larger difference starting my pod car company and then the solar farm apartments company. And um, working for them would be all, in, all consuming. It would be hard to develop a family. There's plenty of younger women in South Florida, man. There's plenty of women in Florida. There are not more women in Austin than there are in Florida. Uh, there, there's plenty of women here. There, no, no shortage of women here. Um, I, I did see lots of young, attractive women in downtown Austin. And if I go to downtown Miami, I see lots of young, attractive women. If I go to downtown Fort Lauderdale, Delray Beach, West Palm Beach, wherever, right, wherever, Orlando, Tampa, there's lots of young, attractive women wherever you go. Austin does not have an advantage in that category. Oh, that's another thing. The air was dry, so I don't know if, where you all where you all live. For those of you who live in South Florida, you know it's people know that Florida is humid. It turns out that when in places that aren't like South Florida, I get chapped lips, I get dry skin. South Florida, I don't have allergies. I have um, my skin is fine, my lips are fine. I'm, I literally can feel my lips recovering. I was using, I bought chapstick while I was out there. What is your age tolerance like? Do you feel weird when they're when they are like 20 to 25? When I'm, when I'm on dating apps, I set the apps for 25 to 35 years old. Um, I don't, I haven't had the opportunity to date anyone that young yet. Well, I dated a 30 year old. Um, I haven't dated anyone young enough to have an opinion about how I would feel about a uh, 20 year old or something like that. I have a, I, I kind of have a hard limit at 22, which, and, and I haven't even tried dating that year, uh, using apps that young. Is Austin worth driving 16 new hours to visit the Gigafactory in the summer? Is there enough to see or save it for SpaceX visit? Um, if you're not getting into the Gigafactory, I would say no. You're just seeing a large building. Uh, I don't think you see a lot if you just go, if you go to, to enjoy Austin and see other things in Austin and you go to Starbase as well and make it one big trip, then yeah, it's worth it. Astro Kiwi dispunks a lot of, okay. Um, 
common sense skeptic is easy to debunk, so. Uh, I think I might need to wrap up. I think my ride is getting ready to go. So be careful of gold diggers, absolutely. Dating someone your daughter's age, that's why they have to be older, 22 or older, because my daughters are both younger than 22. Girls with daddy issues, huge issue, absolutely. All right, so anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I'm probably gonna start making regular videos in the next day or so. Not, I'll start pumping out some videos soon. I may stream one more time once I get home tomorrow, but it's about time to resume. It's about time to resume our regularly scheduled programming. And I, I don't talk about, don't talk about most women as if all women are the same at any age. Women are different, men are different, we're all different, we all have different goals, and we all should have better goals. We're all, we're all wrong, we should all be less wrong, let's try to be less wrong. And please check out the t-shirts. This means critical thinking on elonbits.com. Check out the t-shirts at elonbits.com. Thank you so much for watching.